Truma Call ain't dead, Jay. Truma Call ain't dead, Jay. Gang them shit kill them. I can't wait till I catch him and him too. Mm. The cemetery where I'm sending them. Bitch, put the bitch in the casket. So we'll put the bitch in the basket. We gon' wet them up, fetch them up, dress them up, kill them. It's in the order of the fashion. Gang. Alright, so look, man. I just got done working out. I'm trying to go hit the shower so I can go to the grocery store. I'm trying to go get me some groceries. I'm hungry, fool. Like that lady out there in Ohio that was eating the cats. Put that cat down. I'm hungry, fool. I need my protein. But I happen to check my Instagram because for some reason, y'all be following me on Instagram. I know I asked y'all to follow me on Instagram. And I do thank y'all for following me on Instagram. But this is just me taking accountability because boy, I'm horrible at posting on Instagram. I'm surprised anybody follow me, fool. I'll be posting like one time a week. But yesterday, that was actually my one time this week. And my notifications was going crazy. So I went over there to see what y'all was talking about, right? And the first thing I see on my home page, my home boy, little dude. That's my boy right there. Get him, little dude. Get him. Mink. Mink. Mink, mink, mink. Boy, he beat the brakes off that dude. Heavyweight champion. Reigning for North Dallas. HS and little dude. Mink, mink, mink. Mink, mink. But yeah, we follow each other on IG. Hey, man, that's my guy, right? But when I seen the post that he had posted, I got mad, man. Now I got to come make a video. I'm, I'm trying to go to the grocery store. I'm trying to get my protein, man. Now this dude over here trolling Yellow Beezy. I got to make a video. He's infatuated with me. Dude over there lying on me. Talking about somebody infatuated with him. Them interview people won't even talking about me. The interview dude, he asked Yellow Beezy. Well, not asked him. He told him. Yeah, man, this is one guy on YouTube. It's some dark skinned guy. He's always making videos about you, man. And here he comes. Yeah, that TZF baby. He's in fire, you waited with me. Dude, he won't even talking about me. Why am I on your mind? He said a dark skinned dude. For one, I'm not dark skinned. And for two, this is a commentary channel. Even if I was dark skinned, he wasn't talking about me. It's obvious he was talking about a person that be on camera, fool. Bring me up in your freaky fin. He, he's infatuated. I'm trying to speak it into existence. Get me out of your freaky premonition. Boy, I bet this dude wish he never brought me up. That interview dude wasn't even talking about me. This dude gonna bring me up for no reason. Mm-hmm. You call, I answer. Ah, uh -huh. now get mad. But at the same time, it's all jokes. No hard feelings, dude. I'm still gonna listen to That's On Me, baby. That designer on me. I'm still gonna listen to, what's the other song I like by him? I think it's called Damn People. I'm not a hater, dude. Just stop lying on me. I don't, I don't rock that way, fool. Talking about I'm infatuated with him. Keep me out of them ditty parties, man. One bottle of baby oil lasts me about two years. I don't rock that way, dude. I don't need a thousand bottles of baby oil. But back to the video, man. Because I got to make this grocery store run for real. But at the court was released the other day, uh, Rainwater and Yellow Beezy, they're in court right now for that, for that uh, fighting situation outside of the strip club. Right? It was one nigga. You know, when he beat up uh, Rainwater, dislocated his hip and everything. Well, it won't just him. It was a lot of people. But he said it was just him, right? It was one nigga. So that's what we're going to go with. But yeah, they jumped Rainwater. Well, they beat the brakes off Rainwater. That dude sent me a video of him on crutches in the hospital. But yeah, they jumped Rainwater back in, uh, I want to say 2020, right? Was it 2019 or 2020? And they jumped him for no reason at all. Rainwater wasn't like doing interviews and stuff back then. He was simply jumped because he's Mo 3's manager. So Rainwater did exactly what a what a, a, a manager who's a civilian should do, right? He sued him. And I think he sued him for like $2 million. So this is what's going on right now. But before y'all try to crucify Rainwater for, for suing this man for dislocating his hip and beating him up. Hey, Rainwater put the offer out there. Hey, man, I, I dropped the entire lawsuit. We just run the fade. Whack 100 being a mutual person between them two. He said, hey, you know what? I'll set it up. So they set it up. But when it was time to fight, on the day it was time to fight, 
Uh, Wet 100 said Yellow Beezy called him and said he was sick. He was sick and can't fight. So, hey, it never happened. Rainwater gave him the chance to even drop the whole lawsuit, right? So there's that. I just wanted to give that context because I know y'all gang gang and evil twin people out there. Man, why you suing him, Rain? Hey, he tried to drop it. But yeah, uh, day one the court, that happened the other day when court let out. HSN Ladoo, that's Mo 3's uh, younger cousin. He was following Yalla Beezy, kind of antagonizing him, right? Because Yalla Beezy was uh, being escorted with a police officer, which is very smart. I do the same, dude. I'm famous. Yes, I'm gonna be with securities. Like what the hell? So I never really understand when people clown celebrities for having like security. That's just smart thinking, fool. Just like it's smart for him to have a bulletproof truck, right? Like in my opinion, it's not being scary. It's being smart. Just wanting to make it home to your people, man. He survived that G wagon situation. He'd be an idiot not to move smarter. And you see Yellow Beezy, because I know you listening. Talking about somebody infatuated with you. He's infatuated. I'm a fair person, man. Just because I don't like your music doesn't mean I'm not fair. That's something I don't agree with. I think Yellow Beezy moving the way he's supposed to move. Matter of fact, more rappers should move like he's moving. Bulletproof your car. Do all of that, man. But yeah, back to the story. The dude was uh, antagonizing him. But rightfully so. Dude, you been lying on my cousin for the last three and a half, four weeks. All the interviews. Lying over there on Say Cheese like that. So eventually, uh, Yalla Beezy, and I think it was his uncle or somebody. I don't know his uncle, his homeboy. Some big dude, I don't know. They they eventually met up with LaDude and the person that was with LaDude. Yalla Beezy homeboy squared up with LaDude. LaDude beat the brakes off this dude, fool. Y'all seen that Earl Spence Jr. fight? It all makes sense now. This dude, Yellow Beezy, be with Earl Spence Jr. But yeah, in this situation, it was pretty much like the dude was Terrence Crawford. And the dude he beat up, well, y'all get the picture, right? But yeah, after he hit him with that three piece, had him stumbling about to hit the ground, this dude, Yellow Beezy, tried to jump in and sneak the dude. But when he went to sneak the dude because he was beating up his people, this dude slipped and fell, man. Like it was like a cartoon, fam. Looked like some Tom and Jerry stuff, right? It was this dude by himself, right? He was alone. And he just beat himself up. The dude just slipped and fell. I, I don't know what happened, man. I would give him the benefit of the doubt and say, hey, maybe it was slippery out there. But for starters, they was outside. And second, nobody else ain't slipped. I mean, his homeboy almost fell, but that's because the dude was beating him up. He the only one that slipped on his own, so that dude just slipped on his own, man. I don't know what happened. This dude body malfunction. But that's what the dude clowning him about right now. He posted this picture, right, with the caption that reads, if I send you this, it mean don't slip. If I send you this, it mean don't slip. Man, I can't lie, this hilarious, dog. This dude the dude funny as hell. I can't believe this dude slipped and fell, man. Like, I don't really care about the dude getting beat up, right? This dude slipping and falling on his own, that stole the show. I'm falling all the way. I'm falling all the way. I'm falling all the way down. All the way. He got hit with a two piece of chicken. It won't nobody else to split it with. Boy, the dude gave him a whole two piece food. Ain't no sharing this two piece. Mink, mink. Don't get mad at me either. This dude already think I'm infatuated with him. Don't blame this on me. Get mad at the person that was right in front of your face. Laughing at you when you slipped and fell. He was right there, fool. So don't come getting mad at me. I'm just delivering the news. And to be a little more objective here, I give a little credit to Yellow BG, man. That's what you supposed to do. Your boy getting the brakes beat off him. You go and try to help him. The only problem was, <laughs> you don't supposed to slip and fall, fool. But outside of that, Yellow Beezy did the right thing. It's just unfortunate that he slipped and fell. Little dude, I'm going to be real with you, big dog. If you don't remix DMX song slipping, you drop the ball. How it go? Hey, yo, I'm slipping. I'm falling. Can't get up. Hey, yo, I'm slipping. 
I'm falling. I can't get up. <laughs> you know I'm slipping. I'm falling. I got to get up. You better remix that, man. Trying to tell you, dude. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram. TZL, baby. 252. Long Lil Mo 3. I'm gone. Lift it. Ay. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street.